Today on Newsbeat, we found out what was in those suspicious boxes that were brought to Thomas Boyd Hall. Also, Adam finally shows his face and sees who really agrees with him. And the School of Music proves that cinema isn't just for the eyes. All this and more Newsbeat starts right now. Good evening, Tigers, and welcome to Newsbeat. I'm Bess Casserly. And I'm Michael Edmondson. Thanks for joining us. It was a suspicious box of coffee that caused quite a stir on campus yesterday. After evacuating Thomas Boyd Hall, officials exploded the suspicious packages outside of the building. Soon after, students were given an all-clear message through text alerts, and the campus returned to regular operation. The mystery of the orange and white I Agree with Adam signs and t-shirts has been solved. Last Thursday night, students finally found out who Adam is and why so many people agree with him. At about 7.15 p.m., Adam Rothell, a senior kineology major, walked on stage in the Cotillion Ballroom in front of hundreds of people and shared how a relationship with Jesus Christ had changed his life. Organizer Vic Green with the University Refuge Church says the event was designed to create a space where students could openly talk about spirituality and religion whether they agreed with Adam or not. Some students seem to agree and relate to his message. It was awesome just to hear someone else's story, and it was similar to mine, so it was good. <laughs> students seemed to be receptive to his message. The School of Music proved that cinema isn't only for your eyes. It can also be for your ears. LSU School of Music held its Cinema for the Ears program Monday in the brand new theater of the Digital Media Center. Cinema for the Ears features 90 speakers and 4K projection, which created a unique experience for audience members. The showcase featured 11 different electronic and experimental composers from across the state. Each composer offered a unique piece of music, with some of the performances being done with iPhones, tablets, and other handheld technology devices. Composer Yemen O is personally inspired by the Digital Media Center's theater cutting-edge technology. Here we uh, have a really nice uh, the system, theory system, which has 96 uh, speakers. Also, uh, we call it Meyer Constellation System. And that's, uh, that actually, that system inspires me. This annual event will be back on campus next spring. Well, the weather lately sure has been really all over the place. Hail last night, the night before, we've just really been some crazy weather. It really has. Let's turn to our guest weather anchor, Caroline McDougall, to let us know what to expect for tomorrow. Well, I'm not sure about that because tonight we'll have partly cloudy skies and a chance of a shower or thunderstorm. Tonight the low is 43 degrees with a 20% chance of rain. I hope it doesn't end up like the last couple of nights. Tomorrow should be a beautiful day with a high of 71 degrees and a low of 47 degrees. The humidity will be around 54%, so girls, get the hairspray ready. There's a 0% chance of rain, and the wind should be at a cool 8 miles per hour, so you should be able to leave those umbrellas and rain boots at home. Back to y'all at the desk. Thanks, Caroline. When we come back, Katie Stewart gives us an inside look at the organization that had LSU celebrities kissing a pig to name Free Speech Alley. All that and more is coming up after the break. Stay with us. Welcome back to Newsbeat. I'm Katie Stewart, keeping you organized with all things student organizations. Rotary Club is one of the most well-known international service organizations whose purpose is to bring together business and professional leaders in order to provide humanitarian services and opportunities to grow as an individual and a leader. Despite its well-known name, what most people don't know is that there is a young adult component to the organization called the Rotaract Club, and LSU has its own chapter. LSU Rotaract Club shares the main purpose of the Rotary Club, which focuses on professional leadership and service in the Baton Rouge community and internationally. I spoke with Rotaract President Erica Arsenault about the different organizations they provide service for and some of their fundraising events. Uh, we're involved in a few different service projects. Like I said, we try to do Habitat every semester, uh, and we volunteer at Special Olympics every spring. Um, we've participated in Go Big for the past two years, so we really enjoy doing that. And then we're trying to get involved in the Reading Friends program, uh, which is a like VIPS, Volunteers in Public Schools program, but we're trying to get some of our members into that to do more of an ongoing service thing. Early held their annual Kiss the Pig fundraising event that raises money for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. This year's celebrity participants included Dr. F. King Alexander and Coach Les Miles. Both ended up kissing the lovely King Louie, but Miles said this wasn't his first time kissing a pig. 
Uh, this group, you know, kind of pursued me, and I've, I've kind of been with this. Uh, uh, I think this is about the third pig that I've kicked, kissed. So, because of these well-known names, the Rotaract Club raised close to twenty-four hundred dollars for this charity. Students interested in joining in, in the fun and giving back to their community through Rotaract Club can visit their Facebook page, facebook.com slash LSU Rotaract, for more information about and to find out about meetings every other Thursday in the Student Union. Thank you for tuning in to this week's edition of Student Organization Spotlight. Keep it organized, LSU. Back to you all at the desk. LSU Memorial Library is hosting an art exhibition that showcases Louisiana's coastlands. Partnered with the Coastal Wetlands Planning Protection and Restoration Task Force, LSU worked to introduce I Remember, an art show of environmental significance. I Remember is a traveling art exhibition that features pictures and stories from people across Louisiana. The exhibit raises awareness to help restore the Louisiana coastal wetlands. The exhibit engages visitors through the QR codes that allow visitors to listen to oral histories on their smartphones. I Remember coordinator Leah Wood Jewett tells us how this exhibit differs from any other collection. You get to see real people and you get to hear their stories, it really brings across that human element. And so I, I think that's a really good um, uh, connection. The I Remember Art Exhibition will be on display till August 30th. After, After the, the break, break <laughs> legislation is changing for farmers in Louisiana. And Caroline has our seven day forecast, so don't go anywhere. Welcome back. The Plumbing Board met to discuss an upcoming legislation that could have a serious impact on the public. Reporter Emily Gunn attended to find out what the bill could change. The Louisiana State Plumbing Board is concerned with upcoming legislation that could eliminate the current plumbing code. Executive Director J.B. Barker says House Bill 1048 doesn't have the interest of the public in mind. What exacerbates me about this situation is it's all for the wrong reasons. The proposed legislation will change regulations on current plumbing standards. Women's restrooms will no longer be required to have as many stalls, and common multiple ventilation units will be replaced by one mechanical vent. I certainly want a medical professional to have oversight over regulations and codes versus somebody that just has some 30-hour class of certification. House Bill 1048 will be discussed by committee on April 9th. If it passes, that means the current Louisiana Plumbing Code will be changed to the International Plumbing Code. Board member Carl Bourgeois says the International Code is designed to uniform standards for plumbers in the southeastern states, but each state has made their own individual amendments. Their want for having something consistent is, is just the opposite. I think they're going to do something completely different. Mechanical Contractors Association Director Henry Heyer says he thinks Changing the current plumbing code is only proposed to reduce costs, which in return reduces the safety of the people in Louisiana. It's ill-conceived and it will create public health risks. House Bill 1048 presents certain public health risks because the Department of Health and Hospitals is losing their regulatory authority. Barker thinks Louisiana's unique climate makes our current plumbing code necessary because it has worked to prevent health issues for decades. For Tiger TV, I'm Emily Gunn. If the legislation passes, licensed plumbers must be retested to the new standards. Well, I know I'm sure hoping we get back to that normal sunny weather for spring break. Definitely. I hate the thought of it being rainy on the beach. Definitely. Especially. Well, let's turn to Caroline to see how the rest of the week is looking. The rest of the week looks like it should be pretty dry and in the mid to upper 70s with a 0% chance of rain until Sunday. The chance of rain gets to 20% and some scattered thunderstorms around the area on Monday. It's not a great way to start off spring break, but it should clear up by Tuesday. That's all I have for you for weather today. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to include your weather pictures on Instagram with the hashtag TigerTVWeather. Back to y'all at the desk. Thanks, Caroline. In other news, LSU gymnast Lamencia Hall's performance video has gone viral with over a quarter million views on YouTube. This morning, it was featured on Good Morning America. Stay tuned to see an exclusive interview in studio with Lamencia. If you're looking for free crawfish this season, then look no further than the Parker Coliseum. Tonight, the Residence Hall Association is holding its annual crawfish boil, filled with live music, free barbecue, and of course, free crawfish for all on-campus residents with their Tiger card. The event ends at 8 p.m., so don't miss out. 
Well, that's all the time we have tonight. You can catch our full shows online at TigerTV.tv or on our YouTube channel. And you can check out our Facebook and Twitter for the latest. From all of us here at Newsbeat, thank you for joining us and have a great evening.